much of an interest thing. Another sunny, hot day in Florida, February the 4th. Boy, oh boy, 80 degrees. The weather's been great. And we're gonna go inside now. Purchasing your tickets, they have, they have a monorail for the Epcot Center, and they have one for the Magic Kingdom. And we're gonna go down to the Magic Kingdom one. Here we go. Decided to take the monorail over, see what happens. Inside the monorail, and we're gonna ride over to the park now. Visit the nearest guest relations location. This is part of Disney World. Guest relations can also be right, Disney time. Resort Reservations. We can, oh, there it is. There's Space Mountain. We're on the monorail. And you can barely see the Magic Kingdom over there. Boy, it's a big place, huh? I'm going to save the film until uh, we get in there. Okay, here's the entrance to uh, Walt Disney World. Not all that impressive. We're going to go inside and uh, I'm going to put this thing away and we're going to walk around for a while. I don't think I can take us on any rides. We're going to check. Here we go. Okay, we're inside the Magic Kingdom. We've ridden some rides we wanted to ride. Now I'm going to try to film what I can of this place. This is so big, I don't think I can get it all. So here we go. This is a quaint welcome center. We're going to go down Main Street USA first. And that's over here towards our left. There's the Emporium, folks and everything. This way there's street cars with the horses. Okay, Main Street USA. Walt Disney World, February the 4th, 1997. You can see the Magic Kingdom, the special 25th uh, anniversary decorations. We're going to work our way down that way. Okay, we're heading down Main Street. You can see the shops. They have too many shots for me to even try to film here. But this reminds me a little bit of King's Island when you get down that International Street. We're going to make our way down here right now. Main Street. I thought I saw a lot of strollers at Dutch Wonderland in Lancaster, but I never saw strollers like this. I've seen people carrying one kid in each arm, and boy, oh boy, I wonder how they can enjoy a, a day like today. Yeah, because it's, it's about 78. It's, it's another fantastic day. And we were in Bush Gardens yesterday, so I don't know how long I'm going to be able to keep going. It's shops everywhere, even off to the side of uh, the Main Street area. And balloons and everything. Over here, what do we have? Another little, like, dead-end area for shops. We'll get our souvenirs a little bit later. Trying to get the right focus in right here. Here we go. Crystal Arts Place. A Silhouette Studio. A Bake Shop. Ice Cream Parlor. Just about standard for any amusement park. It's a street from that. This is to the left. They have like clothing. A clothing store, a memorabilia clothing. Most, mostly clothing store. A hot dog joint. They have decent hot dogs in this place. Still working our way up to the kingdom. This is still off to the right a little bit. There's some flyers. There's some pretty scenery, some tables. They have a uh, sandwich and hamburger place here, as the sign says. I don't know what they call it. The, the hot dogs were $2, and they were pretty good. They were pretty big. Still working our way up to the kingdom. And over to the left is uh, information things. More tables, more, more places to sit down and eat. Yeah, I think this is me to replace here. Yeah, it has to be. Yeah, hot dogs. Casey's hot dogs. A little garden area before we get to the uh, Magic Kingdom itself. Put some flowers and some benches, and there's a statue. That's probably Walt Disney. Yeah, it has to be. We'll make him out. We'll go further. Using the Magic Kingdom as a background, you can either go right, which is tomorrow, and I think you can see some rides up there. Yeah, they're, they're working. Space Mountain and everything. Boy, we lucked out on Space Mountain. We had the uh, Three rides before 10 o'clock, before it got crowded. I don't know. This just doesn't look very crowded, but, I, but for us, it probably is. And then this is to the left. We'll head down this other way. We're going to go to Tomorrowland first. But first, I want to get that Magic Kingdom real good. Inside, your partners, Walt Disney, Mickey Mouse. They started all this commotion. And it's a lovely little garden area. Little benches to sit on. And the kingdom. Okay, there it is, the Magic Kingdom, 25th anniversary. We'll try to take the whole thing all the way to the top. Spread this out a little bit, try to get the whole thing. I got another battery, so I don't care. Try to get the whole thing on tape. Pan to the left. And we'll pan to the right. Get the whole thing, maybe count the cones or something, candles and everything. Cute little thing. The Magic Kingdom. 
Oh, people are walking up there. I'm going to walk up and see what's inside there. Okay, inside the Magic Kingdom itself, it's just not, really nothing here. Okay, there, oh, okay, there's a line here. There's a rope. I'm turning too fast, I know. But this is the line to wait for you to meet Mickey Mouse. You want to take your kids to see Mickey Mouse and get a picture with him or something like that. That's probably what that is. And they have shows and everything. Okay. Oh, okay, they got a show ready, I guess, to meet Mickey Mouse. There, there's some of the show. And now, we welcome the kids of the kingdom. Show. Now we're going to head to the right. We're going to go down this area. This is uh, Tomorrowland. We're going to head down this area this way right now. Okay, the sign says Tomorrowland. That's is Tomorrowland, and this is where we're heading. It looks like a roller coaster, but it's like a little monorail thing. It just takes you around Tomorrowland itself. You can see the. Uh, I jumped across the road there. A little beagle there that gives you a nice ride through tomorrow. Night. Maybe I could ride and get a better, better shot. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, everything's so pretty and themed and the water. There's not a cigarette butt. There's not. They keep this place immaculate as we head over the bridge to uh, tomorrow. And it's probably going too fast. Yeah, a little crowded, huh? For us, it's crowded. Go through time. The time keeper here today. They got some kind of an exi exhibition in here. Let's see what the heck it is. I can go in there with a camera. Couldn't go in there. It's more like a theater thing. This Alien and Connor ex exhibition here, ex exhibit, I keep saying exhibit. exhibit. It's not that long of a line. We're going to go in and see this. Uh, after I'm done with the filming, I mean, Barb and Marsh is riding something somewhere. But we're going to go in there. Meanwhile, we'll head back here towards uh, Space Mountain. It's called Take Flight. A whimsical journey through the age of aviation. I don't know, if that's probably another show. And they have, way down there, it's called the Carousel of Progress. I don't know what that is either. The launching pad in Eatery. Oh, and up here, look, they got the, they got ride. Oh, that'd be fun. Mark it like that. If the line's not long, because it's sunny and it's hot, it's about 80. But it, it's fantastic, there's no humidity. But it kind of makes it nice. Merchant of Venus. I would imagine that's a uh, t-shirt shop. We'll keep one. Seagulls, but they ain't afraid of nothing. They, they're waiting around at this uh, eatery for somebody to drop a crumb and they come walking right up to you. As we head towards Space Mountain between those darn trees, they have an alpine ride that'll take us all the way over to uh, Frontierland to the other coast. Or, uh, we're getting near Space Mountain. Oh, you hear these things yapping away, huh, the seagull? Gee. There is Space Mountain. I can't really show you anything inside of it because it's an indoor coaster. Sort of a bluff that thing like uh, Cedar Point has. I can't think of the name of it. And there's a big arcade in there. I'll probably spend some time in there. That's about it for tomorrow, man. I gotta backtrack back to the Magic Kingdom and go from there. We're still in Tomorrowland. By Space Mountain. This is that Turnpike uh, ride. You can't really get. I thought it was like a real one. You can see they have the uh, track down there that you can't really go off of the uh, divider. Although this kid's trying to fit. Yeah, yeah this is a Turnpike ride. Must be a nice one. I don't know if Mark and Barbara are going to ride that or not. But this is in Tomorrowland. Oop, land on a break. Oh well. In Venice, there is another street. This is Tomorrowland. Mickey Star Traders. I guess these are all shops. But you can see, though, they get some pretty flowers here. Not too many shady places, though. You can see going down that walkway. We'll walk down there and see what's here. Oh, here's some more of this little walkway down by the Tomorrowland Speedway. You can see they have uh, some cars out there the kids can just sit and play. I guess if they're too small to ride it, they can play around in it. And we're looking down. This looks like yeah, the Twilight Cafe. There's a lot of places to eat. You won't starve in them. Tomorrowland. I'm leaving Tomorrowland and I'm heading back to the Magic Kingdom and then to go from there. I think I'm going to go straight through there. I think there are some attractions 
This is pretty. This is the other side of that bridge I, I was showing you before about no cigarette butts in it. This must be some kind of a uh, boat ride that rides through this uh, particular area as we head back to the uh, Magic Kingdom. All around the uh, Magic Kingdom, I don't know what these are, kind of pretty flowers. You can see how well the uh, landscape everything. They got a show going on up here now, so maybe I'm just going to walk around this uh, walkway here where you see that brick wall. Okay, coming out of that back end of the uh, Magic Kingdom, you run into this area here. Sir Mickey's, Tinkerbell's Treasures, beautifully themed area. The whole park is really, really nice. And we're going to head down this way. The Lion King show or something. You see people waiting in line to, to get into that attraction. It's a small world down there. Up ahead are the uh, Alpine cars. This is the uh, the carousel. Panning to my right a little bit. I don't know. I don't know what kind of ride that is. Is that the teacup ride? Right? Let's check it out. And Snow White's Adventures right here. Another show. Here. Seven Dwarf Mine or something. We'll take a walk see what we got. Okay, here's that carousel. And then down that area there, it looks like where that mine ride ends is uh, Frontierland. Well, it's a pretty building here with a blue roof. I don't know if that's a restaurant or a shop. I'll have to check that out. The Nogio Village Pulse. So I imagine it's some kind of a restaurant. There's a table there. Dummy me, I should know that. I guess the heat's getting me. And down along there's probably more shops. So we're gonna bear to the right here. Carousel, that's Dumbo. You see those Dumbo, the elephant? Every time you see a commercial for uh, Disney. Dumbo the flying elephant. Right past Dumbo, there's uh, places to sit down and eat, and there's Ariel's Grotto. I don't know what that is, we'll check it out. This is a little play area for kids. Water shoots out, little mermaid play area. Yeah, you see the water shooting out? Kids are running through it, having a good time. That's what that is. Look at all the strollers lined up. Holy night. This is a pretty area. Boy, look at the waterfall and everything. Is this some kind of ride? Or? Whatever it is, I don't, I don't see no ride. I have no idea. I think Dumbo is a uh, guide. We're going to pan left. Head down this way. Some pretty little tables and chairs. I think called the Wild Ride. I'll have to check what that is. You can see Space Mountain in the back or we left that area already. Walk down this area here's a lot of picnic benches. Or just benches rather. And Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. This must be a kiddie land park because there's an awful lot of small kids and strollers here. That must be something just for the kids. Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. Mad Tea Party. Oh, there's those teacup rides. I think they covered them up though. They used to be outdoors or they the one in California. I don't know. These are the ones Kenny would have or something. A couple years ago they took them out. Somebody got hurt on them real bad. Boy, there's a long, there's a longer line for this than there is for Space Mountain. Okay. Right on the edge of Tomorrowland. You can see those are cars. I'm using that for Mickey's Toontown Fair. Let's see what's in here. Okay. Once past that sign, Mickey's Toontown Fair inside here. This is definitely uh, the Kitty Land. I haven't saw a roller coaster. Wow. Okay, we'll check that out. Garage, it says here. A little picture uh, opportunity. You put the kids in a car. Golf gas. Kind of wide inside a little bit. Yeah, this is definitely kids. Horn Stormer. I don't know. I don't know what that is. A roller coaster or. What it is. I don't know what's back in all back here. You see Daddy? This is mini size, I guess with the hearts and everything. I was wondering what it was and some lady just said, that's mini size. Okay. Country Bounty. Hall of Fame. I don't know what that is. That's something for little kids, I guess. And we'll get down. There's another house. Oh boy. Look at what that is. Their own strawberry shortcake, strawberries, biscuits, and non dairy whipped cream for $2.80. Not bad, you make your own little, yeah, you get the fruit and everything else. Some sort of a boat. Uh, looks like another player. Yeah, you see the water shooting up every couple seconds. Yeah, there it is. Kids can run in and jump in and cool off because it's getting warm. Station. That's going to take me to uh, Frontierland because I'm going to get on this. Okay, open my house. Come 
Come on in, see Mickey at back. I guess this is another little play area. I guess the kids are really, really small and they can't do much. This is the place they should be. That county bounty Toontown thing. And what it looks like, I don't know, it's an exhibition hall and then up here they have uh, your gifts and everything. I'm in here because it's air conditioning. And it's, I need a little break for a minute or so. Funny photos up there. Yeah, I need to cool off. I want to get that coaster, then I want to go over to uh, Frontierland. Okay, this is the Barnstormer. It's their little coaster. I don't know where it goes. Something like the roller skater in uh, Kentucky. I'll try to get it when it passes by. Cause I, everything's so tight in here, you can't really get the... Uh... Oh, there it is. Ain't a bad little coaster for kids. there in about a minute. Okay, now I'll just take the train. Travel right up to the stop. I'm on the train to, At the exit to space now, go to Frontierland, but you can, I just want to show you this because I can't get this anywhere else. This is those fancy, fancy hotels they show you advertising, the taking the monorail over to the uh, park and everything. I don't think I can get a good shot of it, but I'll keep this on. Yeah, you can get a show, good shot now. That and take that monorail right over and right into the in main time. gate. If you got the money. Of time, we best be moving forward to Main Street, USA. That's where we're headed, Main Street. And this is the main entrance. This is where you get in. I'm going to stay on and get off at uh, Frontierland. This is probably a little shaky. That's the only way I can probably get this. I'll show you nothing but uh, trees and these last few days. If you're getting off, so. stay in your seat till we come. Oh, here we go. Here stop. we go. And remember to gather all your personal belongings. and right here. If you got any. There's the monorail you saw. And this is more of the front entrance here. I guess Those more. Yeah, this is directly in front of the place. You see, people are still coming in. There's the the ferry thing. You can take a ferry over here. You can take the monorail. We took the monorail. This is a big place. This is Big Thunder Mountain Railroad in Frontierland. You can see there's no line. You're walking right up and on the thing. We rode this a couple times. It's, it's, it's a good mine train car ride. It's nothing spectacular, but it gives you a good ride. Some of the coaster, you see one going up. You can't get much of it. It's all themed in, uh, inside. What the heck is this thing? It keeps shooting up. I hope they don't get the camera wet. There's the coaster. Get closer. Looks like a building's on fire, but isn't this all part of the uh, theming of uh, the keel ride? And here's the tracks for the mine ride. Yeah, we got on and off this a couple times real quick. It's a good mine ride. We, we were in the back. We were, I guess we we're kind of lucky we were stuck in the back and you got a little better ride and a little more velocity and then you got to throw it around a little more. But Marsha likes her coaster, so she won. There she comes. Coming around the mountain. Through the mine ride. The mine ride coaster. Through the mine, through the hill. It's a good ride. We enjoyed it. And right across from the uh, mine ride. You have this pretty uh, lagoon area. This is kind of weird. What do you see this? These people are standing on this like keelboat thing. I, I don't know what all it does or where it goes or whatever, but they're standing on a thing. I'm thinking, boy, is this a dumb thing to do if it's like 90 degrees out? The sun is blazing on you. Well, what if it was raining? You know? I got an oarsman, I guess. I, I don't know if that thing's connected or what. Yeah, there's another one in front there, too. But I don't know. Why would I wait all that time to, you know, to each his own? But, Personally, uh, I think I'd pass on this, but I want to film it because I don't think you're ever going to see this in any other part. Maybe the one in California. It's a keelboat ride. Exit for uh, the mine ride and the uh, Big Splash Mountain. I'm going to show you Big Splash Mountain next. That's about all I can get a Splash Mountain. It's the final thing because it's all inside. And try to get that. What happened? They have two across. Instead of you sitting one behind the other, 
they have two across. I think there's eight in a boat, so it doesn't take all that long. We didn't wait all that. We waited about 10 minutes ago, I think. This drops and it lets you. They splash on. It's a nice drop. It's another view of the uh, splash mine. You can see all the money they put into uh, theming. They come down about every 10 seconds. The people are standing up here so they can get some of the spray and cool off a little bit, I find out, because that must get wet. That's Big Splash Mountain. It's, it's a good ride. This is Frontier Land, where the Big Splash Mountain and the, the mine coaster was. It's all themed in the year western. I think a lot of places to sit down. It's starting to look good. I am getting tired. Down this area here, it looks awful crowded. This is Frontier Land. It's leading to Adventureland. I don't know what that is, so we're going to take a walk down here and find out. Seen the Magic Kingdom for a background. Oh, here's a big steamship here. Big travel thing. You take a ride on the river. It's part of the adventure in the Frontierland. One stops and one, one begins. I don't know which one is which. I try to get that little better focus there. Well, you got a whole lot of people. In it. Maybe that's why everybody's here to take a, a boat ride. Nice day for it. Get some more uh, walkways and bridges. We'll find out where we're going. Have your town hall. It's a mile long bar. Prairie things. All your western things. And they're roping this stuff off. I guess they're going to have a parade or something. Though. I'll try to catch some of that if they do. I saw a mile long bar waiting for the uh, parade to begin. And you can see the prices. Boy, what are you going to eat here? You can read them. Quarter pound hot dog. 455. Wow. Yeah. I think he's value meal. Boy, they make some money doing this. The watering. Oh, the, the popping bed. I don't think you can buy any beer in here. The popping bed. Okay, here we go. I got a parade. What's Disneyland without a parade?
time on your feet. It's time to I'm kind of glad I got that parade boy. That was beautiful. More areas in that frontier and adventure land place. Places to eat. So, Lion King uh, memorabilia. Pretty themed area right here. Traders of Timbuktu. I, I guess this is another part of land. I don't want to pull the map up and find out what it is, but we're here. I have no idea where I'm at. I'm looking at the map and it still don't make any sense, but we're going to get down this themed area here. Try to get to the front. Pretty gift shops. Everything here is beautiful. It, it's a beautiful place. You can see what after that parade, while Walt Disney got these kids right in there, a palm of his hands. Yeah, Chris Family Robinson. This little bridge, little walkway. Maybe it's a play area or something. Like that. I'll have to find out. That's on this tree hot thing, and then just keep going down our front here. I'm, I'm getting kind of tired, and I'm running out of film. I'm heading back towards the Magic Kingdom, so I guess they made a full circle. I guess I got most of this park in. Adventureland, there's the back of that Aladdin ride thing, and there's the end of that parade. And over here is some more theming. Very pretty park. Very pretty park. I think I got the whole thing. I, I doubt if I got it. I think I got every area, though. You can hear by the music, the parade's still going on, and I'm back at the Magic Kingdom, so I don't know what else I can get, unless I can see uh, Barb and Marcia somewhere. I'm just going to put this thing away and just go check out some of the uh, shows and everything. Nice place, you know, it's not our kind of uh, park, but I'm so glad we came and saw it. <laughs>